Bahamas Hotel Catering and Allied Workers Union President Darren Woods expressing concern over Atlantis' decision to furlough a group of employees only one month after bringing them back on. Woods said the union intends to file a trade dispute against the mega resort. These are employees, these are individuals, living, breeding employees. They're not inanimate objects. They're not boxes and things that you could just shuffle around as you see fit. They have to make adjustments. Just like management have to make adjustments, they have to make adjustments. So when you come to me on a roll call and say, next week you ain't get no job or you're going home and we ain't know when you're coming back, that's a problem. Woods said the union was left in the dark on a number of issues, including how many employees will be furloughed and for how long. In a statement on Sunday, Atlanta said it is not closing, but indicated that it is experiencing lower occupancy levels for January, attributed to several compounding factors such as the lack of adequate airlift and the recent surge of COVID-19 in key markets. As a result, it says team members in several divisions are on temporary furlough for a few weeks. But Woods says employees should have been given more notice. Yes, we know forecasts drop off. We, we, I mean, we, give us some credit. But if the forecast drops off, it says that you are able to do this. They, their words is furlough. Our word is redundant, um, rotation, which is the same thing. They're supposed to wake reduced days for us. If the occupancy drops, then you move to reduced days. Right? If it continues, then they go to week on, week off. If that continues, then you go to furlough. You know what people will say? Well, you know, what's the difference? It's the same thing. You still get end up there. Yeah, you're going to end up there, but you will end up there with the employees getting there with some dignity. The Nassau Guardian understands several food and beverage outlets have been impacted, including car mines, outlets at the Cove Pool, as well as several other resorts water park. Wood said the union is now looking to take action. The first step is we have to file a dispute. Um, after, once we once we once we were re responded to the, the the letter, we have to then get a meeting with. Um, the, it's going to be virtual. The dispute process is how they tell us they are going to entertain it, and they never scared. We tell them that. Meantime, in its statement, Atlantis said, "Quote: It is also not unusual for the resort to adjust staffing needs according to occupancy levels. Both team members and the union have been notified of this decision." Atlantis remains extremely optimistic about its February and March bookings and looks forward to the cold reopening on February 11th. For the Guardian News Network, I'm Kyle Joaquin.